Well, schools, of course, back in session around the area, and now parents tell us some bugs have been spreading around the classrooms, and we're not just talking about COVID-19, the virus. Pediatricians tell us stomach bugs and RSV cases are common right now. Our own Teresa Bowles talked to Parkside Pediatrics today and has been talking with parents as well. And she joins us live in the newsroom with what they had to say. Cody and sorry, Parkside Pediatrics says not only are they full with appointments due to an uptick in sick cases, they're also seeing viruses that aren't COVID related. And because they have similar symptoms, I found out what parents can do. She always reminds me, make sure you get my mask. So. Times may look a little different for kids like Madison. Children are wearing masks and cleaning. We uh, had the Sprite or alcohol or uh, the gel for the in disinfected, sanitizer. yeah, mm -hmm. the sanitizer. Miriam Lugo says she took her child to Parkside Pediatrics for an ear infection, but that's not the only thing common these days. We've seen an uptick in sick visits. Definitely we're seeing more um, people needing to be COVID tested. Dr. Rachel Sign is a pediatrician at Parkside. She says they're also seeing stomach bugs and RSV, or respiratory syncytial virus, and both have similar symptoms, so when should you take your kids to be seen? A fever or even a runny nose or a cough, um, then that would be the right time to go ahead and get tested. First time mother Morgan Talley says she's even had a friend whose 10 month old beat RSV. She just kind of got like had a bad cough, so she decided to just take her to the doctor and come to find out that like her oxygen was low. So she had to stay in the hospital for like maybe two days. And Tally says these illnesses concern her now that Madison is starting preschool. It'll probably be more kids than what she's used to. I, I mean, I get nervous, but I can't put her in a bubble. And if you're wondering about your child's immune system weakening due to all the cleaning. That theory is kind of based more over like a long-term development of a child's immune system um, and not really in a short term. And Dr. Sign says the best way to protect your child from a severe coronavirus case is with the vaccine or by wearing a mask. They do offer the shot at Parkside Pediatrics. Back to you, Cody and Tori. Teresa, thanks. Most people do recover from RSV in a week or two, but it can be serious. It can also lead to bronchitis and pneumonia.